Hi guys. So two weeks ago, I put up the video where I took really long um, curtains and cut them in half to be able to fit here in the bus. And so today, we are going to actually hang those curtains using wire. What we're going to do, I, I've seen this done, not, not tried it in any of our, our projects, but I just went and bought some, some galvanized steel cable that's vinyl coated, kind of clear vinyl coating. It'll be easier for the curtains to slide, not snag. Um, of course, with this, I went ahead and got some cable clamps and different sizes of eye, eye bolts, some long ones. Um, I also have threaded in case I end up having to go through a wall and put a, a nut behind it. And of course, I got the turnbuckles to tighten them up. So I'll show you how these go together and uh, we can get it good and tight. And we we'll figure it out anyway. Yeah. Well, this could be a, a design build project. So stay tuned. I apologize if the sound quality on this video is a little off. It's really hot here, so we just got this air conditioner. Um, and right now we're piping it through the window like that. And I know that it's probably picking up the wind of the what when we're on when we were recording. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to not right. overheat. All right, guys, we want to connect, we want to secure one end of the cable up here in this wall. But this wall is just a light paneling wrapped and padded, so I really can't pull any tension on it. But behind here, I take the speaker out, there's a, a square tubing steel, and I need to mount something rigid to that. So I found a piece of, that has some scrap aluminum. That's probably a one by one, by one aluminum angle. And I'm going to put this inside and attempt to screw this in give me a good fastening point for the cable. I'll do this on both front sides. The back, I actually have a wooden frame wall to hook to. So we'll see how this works. Had to use kind of an overkill for extension, but I need an extension to be able to uh, do this. Let's see. And there's, I had a nice piece of aluminum look just like this that I fed to the wall permanently, so it's down in there. Luckily I had an extra piece of scrap. Let's we'll see if you can knock out another one. All right. Tent number one. All right. I'm using self-tapping screws to screw this aluminum mingle into the one by one tubing. So here's a tip. These um, shades for putting on the front windshield of cars make a great thing for deflecting shavings off of the couch. Yay, we have a hole beside the hole. All right, I've got the aluminum angle mounted, drilled a hole, ran in a long uh, eye bolt with a nut and lock washers. So I put it on the back, so I'm just gonna tighten this in. And when these cinch up, that should be enough to hold, hold tension on this, enough to be able to tighten the curtain right. Get a little wrench, a couple turns, and it'll be tight. Now it's just a matter of putting the speaker back in and one side down, three to go. And y'all, this was definitely the hardest one to figure out, so the rest should go pretty quick. So we're just gonna zip those screws in and then we'll move on to number two. All right guys, this end we had framed, so I knew I had two by four studs in here. I measured it and when I set the other one, I made sure I got down enough I get into this wood and not in that panel up at the brace behind. So I just took a similar measurement from both ends, make sure it's level. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drill a pilot hole. Now this end, because I'm not going behind it, I'm using just a screw-in tip. So it's the same type eye bolt, but this is a threaded end instead of a instead of a, a instead of receiving a nut there. So I'm going to drill that out now and place this in this side. Back 
Okay, now that the eye hooks are in place, we're gonna run the cable. Um, we're using simple cable clamps, little U clamps, track supply, any hardware store. Um, there you go, that's what we like in the pack. And that's just simply, you would, you would make a loop in the cable, place both ends through that, clamp it, and I put at least two on each end. That makes a nice, neat looking uh, loop in the end of the cable. Now you can you can uh, you can take that apart, but it's easier just to go ahead and thread it through through the eyelet and back through it. Sit. Oh, let me do it twice. I'm sorry. Two of them. Thread it through both of them through the eyelet, and then back down through these little clamps like so. And I, I, I plan on using two, but I probably don't need a second one. This is holding up pretty well in that vinyl. It's gripping real tight. Um, this cable's an overkill for what we're doing. It's going to hold up, I think, 350 pounds. Wow, that's a lot of cargo. Um, so we could use a, a smaller cable. It just This was the same size as the all the bolts and everything, so I just kept it uniform. It wasn't too bad. I think that whole, it's like a 50 foot roll at Track Supply was probably $25 maybe. So it wasn't too bad. You can buy it by the foot as well if you need a shorter or a longer distance. Yeah, I think one's gonna be plenty. You just have to kind of decide the size of the loop that you need. And there you go. And I, I guess I could put a second one, make that a little bit neater, but I don't think that's going anywhere. I don't think it's fine. And the curtain can slide over it without having to deal with one of these. If I was really worried about these stacks, I probably should have put it in from the front so that those points are not, in fact, it's probably gonna bug me. Um, well, no, because the curtain's gonna cover that. <laughs> Problem <I'm> solved. <laughs> okay. I would've felt stupid if I would've uh, <laughs> loosened that. All right, guys, um, to cut this off, I'm just gonna try just a regular pair of Lyman's pliers. You do have this vinyl coating. So that with the vinyl coating, it's like a 3 16 diameter but really the cable itself is, is an eighth. So I think a couple of snips and it should tighten this right into it's crushing it. Just like that. And I kind of mashed around to <clears throat> smooth it out. I still have my clamp on from the other end. So I'm going through my, my uh, turnbuckle and I measured this with the turnbuckle fully elongated to give me the most adjustability. So I'll do that. So now it's time to load the curtains. Yep. We have curtains. Okay. Now we have one set of curtains. Now we just have to do the same thing on the other side. Okay guys, this is above our door and I just took the little panel off the access panel. And just like the other side, I need to have something to hook to. So I went in and I added a little one by one, I don't know if you can see there or not, a little one by one piece of angle. And I was able to uh, drill through the front side and I'll put an eye bolt through and bolt it. And then that'll allow me to connect the cable on this end and that ends easy, it's into the wooden frame. Okay, so now we have both sides up, but the whole front window is still very obvious. So what we're going to hang is this curtain rod um, with this, well, it's fine, with this shower curtain that you'll see in a minute. Um, so we just went to the store and bought these, um, I guess this is for hanging like a, a rod in a closet? Yep. The closet rod? So we're going to stick these up um, there, and well, we already have one up there and there, 
and then we'll be able to put this up and block out the whole front. So. Well, I guess we're going to leave you guys there because now we have our curtains on both sides. We have our curtain in the back um, and, well, back of me, front of the bus. And it's perfect timing because we've been stuck at home for three weeks and it is time to hit the road. So hopefully next week we're going to be on the road. We're going to be going somewhere fun, doing something cool with the bus. So stay tuned and we will see you next weekend.